Hey guys, Ultra Maximus back with another comic book review. This time we're going to take a look at the Batman Spawn comic by Frank Miller and Todd McFarlane from Image Comics. I actually picked this up in a very unlikely place, which is why I'm doing this review. I picked this book up at a dollar store called Dollar Tree here in uh, Greenwood, Indiana. And um, the birds are going nuts today, so if they scream, sorry. Uh, but yeah, so I was standing in line, pick up a couple junk items, and uh, I just kind of see this sitting room. They got a stack of them. I'm like, really? And at first I thought this was a um, just a reprint, but then, you know, kind of looking at the back, I mean, that's the actual book from 1994. And when I open it up and look at it, it actually has the 1994 uh, date in there. Uh, so this is an actual 20-year-old comic book, and it's in really good shape. Um, they all were. I was really, really surprised. I'm not sure how or why they had those, but yay me. So I picked this up for myself, and I picked one up for a friend of mine who was reading The Dark Knight Returns uh, that I had gotten for him as a gift. And um, the reason I did that, this book is actually supposed to be a companion piece to that. Uh, Frank Miller wrote the Dark, the Dark Knight Returns. He also wrote this book uh, for the crossover. Todd McFarlane, uh, of course, the creator and writer of Spawn. Um, he did the illustration for this, and uh, Frank wanted this to be a companion to the Dark Knight Returns. Uh, and it specifically says it has nothing to do with uh, DC continuity at the time in 1994. So that's kind of interesting. So what is this book about? Uh, well, some first, first off, Love the cover, absolutely great. Um, very much a Dark Knight Returns 1980s style Batman symbol here. Of course, we've got the Spawn symbol, and the cover is uh, definitely a nod to um, one of the covers and, and uh, splash art uh, from the Dark Knight Returns, which is very, very cool stuff. Um, and then on the back, there's a little bio of um, Frank Miller and Todd McFarlane. Uh, pretty cool. Uh, the artwork in this book, I mean, it's typical Todd McFarlane type stuff. I don't know if I particularly care for his style of Batman. Uh, he's got the cape going everywhere uh, like he does with um, Spawn. Uh, good shot of Alfred. I do like Alfred in the book. I think he looks really cool, but I'm just not hip on the cape. It just looks like a bunch of trash piled up, and it just doesn't, doesn't work for me. Um, but there are a lot of scenes that look really, really cool, really good. And... Of course, Spawn looks really cool. The only thing that kind of gets me throughout the entire book, there's an inconsistency of Spawn without his mask and Spawn with his mask. And I don't don't know what the deal with that is. I don't know if they just he drew a bunch of panels and put them together. But every once in a while, you get this really cool shot of Batman. Very Dark Knight Returns logo right there, um, which is very, very cool. I'm really digging that. Uh, this book is essentially Batman goes to New York City because um, there was a New York bomb that was in a cyborg in Gotham City, traces it back to New York, and um, he runs into Spawn. A uh, really cool shot of the Bat symbol over New York. Uh, kind of neat, kind of cool. Uh, we got the closest thing we have the Joker in this is uh, the Joker card there. Got the penny in the... Uh, T-Rex, which is very nice. Um, Batman comes in onto Spawn. There's another great shot. Uh, comes, finds Spawn burning up somebody, so he naturally thinks Spawn's a bad guy. They get into it. They start fighting. Um, a really cool shot of the bat symbol on the Spawn logo as they fight. Uh, so, you know, they they don't they don't make friends very quick, um, which not really surprising. Uh, the other thing I did like up here, the TV uh, nods to the Dark Knight Returns. Uh, very cool stuff. But uh, yeah, so they don't get along. They don't like each other. Batman is not written very well in this book. Uh, he keeps calling him stupid. He's punk. And he's just kind of a dick in this book uh, throughout the entire book. Uh, he gets tricked by uh, the bad guy, some Russian chick who's putting bums in cyborgs and she's going to take over the world. Um, and, uh, yeah, so Batman and Spawn end up fighting cyborgs, Batman almost dies, Spawn gets into Batman's brain to save him, and uses his hell powers to heal him, and they figure each other out, and all that kind of good jazz, and, uh, then, yay, now they're working together. So they go and, uh, stop this chick, um, uh, uh, go through, and 
<sighs> stop her with all of her weapons and everything, and they save New York, and yay, everything's happy and fun. And, uh, you know, then, of course, they're bickering here at the end again um, for no real good reason. Uh, again, Batman just ri not written all that well in this book, I don't think. And then, of course, at the very end, he's like, hey, let's bury the hatchet. And then, uh, oh, if I can get to the page... Uh, Batman's like, bury this, and he throws a batarang into Spawn's face! And that is how the book ends, and it is glorious. And the cool thing that I really did like about that, um, even though this book did not, um, become part of DC, uh, mainstream comics, that batarang in Spawn's face became part of the Spawn comics on, in Image Comics. And he had, uh, he stitched it up with a shoelace for many, 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 many issues. And I always thought that was kind of cool uh, as a teenager uh, reading the Spawn comics. So, um, yeah, $1. Um, of course, I mean, it really wasn't that huge of a, a you know, it was three ninety five back in the 90s. But that was a lot of money back then for a comic book. Uh, it's about the average price today, I think, for a comic uh, but yeah, it was just kind of a neat find for a dollar at the dollar store, and I had to pick it up. Um, it, it was a you know an interesting read. It was it was kind of cool to go back and see this book again, uh, reread it, and uh, you know I had memories of the book, but actually you know I haven't haven't read it probably in 15, 20 years. It was kind of nice to go back and actually read the book. So and it kind of makes me want to do some more reviews on uh, graphic novels, uh, collected pieces. So I mean, maybe about doing that. I don't know. But there it is. Spawn Batman or Batman Spawn, however you want. I think it's Spawn Batman actually uh, from Image Comics. If you have a Dollar Tree near you, go check it out. They may have these there up by the registers. And if they do, buy one because. This is probably the coolest thing I've ever seen in a dollar store. So there you go, guys. Spawn Batman from Image Comics. Thanks for watching, and look for more videos in the future.